Hi, this is Tony Lopez, and we're going to be doing a combo sambo tape, leg locks. No one, no one breaks a leg like a Russian. Uh, the Russian samboists specialize in breaking ankles and knees. This really is my second favorite, and I think the second most important tape in this series. Um, you will learn how to break an ankle from any direction, how to break a knee from any direction. Because of the obvious size difference, Jesse is 65 pounds heavier than I am, and he's 20 years younger, the most logical target for me to attack is his ankles. A 90-pound woman can make a 300-pound man submit with ankle locks. So if Jesse would get down. The reason for this is he's large, he's a weightlifter, so his, his ankles are going to be a lot tighter than someone of my built. Now, Jesse, can I have your hand, please? If Jesse was to grab my hand across the knuckles and squeeze, squeeze, okay, that would hurt. Now he's doing that with hand strength. Just like he did with the hand across these knuckles right here, I'm going to do across the knuckles of his toes right here. What I'm going to use, if Jesse, please come here, use the very back skin right here, this skin right here, across this. So I'm going to lift his foot up. I'm going to put it right back here. Remember where he was in his arm? And I'm just going to crush back. Notice the reaction he does. Ouch. Even if he's got sneakers on, miss off. even if he's got sneakers on, it'll still work. Even with light boots, it'll still work. It won't work with steel toe boots. Okay. The other part of the foot we're going to attack for now is this part here. Right there. What I'm going to use is this bone. This bone, hard versus soft area. And again, the soft area here, the last skin against his knuckles. Now remember, he squeezed my hand with his hand. I'm squeezing this with my back muscles and arm muscles. So I'm going to put it up. I'm going to squeeze this way. See what happens. This part right here, I'm going to put right there. I'm going to lift up. I'm going to grab my hand this way. So if his foot is here, it's coming underneath here like this. So this goes up. This goes here. I grab my hand, lift up, bring my elbow back. Okay? Now, the other important part is once you get very experienced, you want to cross your ankles. Okay? That keeps his hip down. Now, after a while, you don't even need to do that. You can do an ankle lock without doing this, but you should cross your ankles. If he's a kicker, and he's going to try to kick you, and you're not very good at ankles yet, you might want to do it this way. Though, crossing the ankles is a better way. Because this way, it's Jesse can come over here and move his, my foot and then come to an attack. But if I have two ankles here, it's hard to do, okay? But again, if you're not fast with ankles, he's going to try to kick you. There's counters to that. We'll do those later. So for now, I'm going to go up. Remember the squeeze. I'm not going to squeeze. I'm going to feel enough pain here. Put my ankles here. Up, squeeze. Up, squeeze. Now that will make him submit. Now the second part, or the third part of the ankle break, is instead of going back this way, the way most people do ankle breaks, see how flexible he is? We're going to go sideways. Okay, so, if, so again, I'm going to be here and here. Watch my body. If I go like this, that, that will get him. But it will not break him as badly as if I go like this. See that little motion? And in real life, I'm going to be going crack. So my body, instead of coming back this way, straight back, it's turning this way. It's my body, instead of going straight like this, is going to be going like this, on this shoulder. OK? So again, <clears throat> the foot is high. Now, if you miss any one of these elements of the ankle lock, the ankle lock will still work. Here, one. Remember the squeeze. The bone, this hard bone, right across here. So bone here, here. Push down with your heels. Up, back. Turn your body. Watch my body turn. See, I'm not, I'm not pulling up and squeezing when I turn my body. If I do all three things, I'll hurt Jesse. I'm just going to turn my body now. Look, at he taps. I'm just going to pull up a little bit. He taps. I'm just going to squeeze. He taps. I'm combining those three taps into one brutal big tap. So the actual technique, Jesse, excuse me, would be up, squeeze, <laughs> 
brake. Okay? That is your basic ankle lock. Okay, the last ankle lock we taught, which I taught was the basic ankle lock. This ankle lock is one of my favorite ankle locks. Same principle. Bef before we put this arm underneath and use this bone, we're going to use this bone. This bone right here. We're going to put the bone right here. See? Right here the bone, right here. We're going to bring it to our hip. This hand is going to come over here. So your hands are like this, okay? The bone, hands clasped. Next, we're going to get this bone, this bone right here, and we're going to go across the foot this way. And the neat thing about ankle locks, the more he resists, the easier it is to break. An ankle, think of it as like a piece of wood. I hold a piece of wood like this, and I do a karate punch. It's much harder to break if you hold it like this. So the bigger, the stronger, the more muscle he is, and the more he fights you, the easier it's going to break his ankle. And that's why it's good for a small person like myself. Ankle here, hand here. Now, I'm going to cross the foot. Here's the foot. This forearm, this bone, is going this way. This way, in this general direction. Okay, so this, this bone, right here. This is a great ankle lock it's so fast to do. This bone here, bring it towards your hip and just bring your elbow down. Look how he jumps, it's really neat. This is not as painful as the other one, but so easy. See the hand here? Grabbing like this. And just bring, bring, come up this way and come down this way. This motion. So, here, there he goes. Are you okay? Again, you can go here and just go down. Okay, and again, I don't worry about this foot. I like him to try to kick me, because ankles is one of the things I do best. But if you're a beginner, you might want to go like this. Put one foot here and one foot here. And again, but notice, I have to do a lot more effort than if I do, okay? Because the pressure on the hip. Now I'm being very nice to Jesse. In real life, these heels will be curving down. I'd be trying to put as much pressure as I can on this hip. So both my heels will be going, okay, and I'm not doing this here. Again, all these lank locks, I'm being very careful with Jesse because of his large frame, it's so easy to hurt him with these. So I cross my, see ankle, ankle. Notice right here. Now notice, I'm not even leaning back. I'm just pushing down. Now what happens is at the same time pushing down, I do that. Be very effective. Notice here, I'm not even, all I'm doing is my arm. Again, I'm pushing this up. And this hand, instead of going up, it's actually fish hooking. It'll work if you go straight up, but if you fish hook a little bit, if you fish hook, it actually, if you do this versus that, it's more effective. Just my arm strength. Now, if I was to lean back, I'm not going to use my arm, I'm just going to lean back a little bit. Look at that. I'm, just, I'm not even using arms. Look, look how light my fingers are. Look how relaxed. Look at that. Look. How, look. Now, man, if I grab real hard, shove this elbow down, and lean back. It's really brutal. And again, this works better on him than if Jesse was to do it to me. Okay, let's watch Jesse, a bigger man, doing this on me. You're gonna see it's gonna take a lot farther for him to do it. First, my fingers, go ahead, Jesse. Okay, it's, I feel some pain, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Push down all your hips, keep going. See how much farther he has to go with me and I have to go with him? I have very skinny legs, I'm a very skinny person. So if I give him my ankle and he gives me his ankle, that's a big mistake on his part. I'll give him an ankle to take an ankle because this is his weakness. This is his Achilles tendon of a big man. Okay, ankle lock number three is an ankle lock that's not allowed in sports samba because the danger of it, that it only hurts the ankle, but it hurts the knee. It could tear the knee, and, it, and it's just very brutal. Okay, the same idea, you know, you would have your ankles here. If you're good at it, if you're a beginner, your leg would be over here. Again, if you're a beginner, bend your knee, please. Your leg would be here, okay? This would be the ankle you attacked. Okay, on this one, you gotta watch very closely. Remember the little pinch we had before? Do the same kind of pinch, 
But this time, my, my hand goes here. This part of my thumb, this thumb right here, is going to hook here. But the foot is going to be underneath this armpit. The foot's here, and this kind of snags around to here. It's a little harder to get than ankle number two. Ankle number two is the easiest one to get. We're going to grab here. Now next, we're going to lock our legs here. What's happening with this is my elbow comes in. This comes this way, and this comes this way. So the elbows come this way, and the hand comes this way. Okay, not only does it put pressure on the ankle, but it tears the knee, too. It's very brutal on the knee. It's a little hard to get, but it's vicious. Okay? See how it's grabbed in there? It snakes around. This hand's going to go this way in a circle. This finger, you want to make this finger point to, point to your chest. At the same time, this is going in. You've got to do this very, very slowly. Okay? And it's this knee it can be damaged. Okay, we're also damaging. This going in, this going in, this going up. And it works. If I go up, it works. I go in, it works. If I do both, it works even better. And again, my body, I'm not going straight back like a lot of people do. If I go straight back, it works, but it works more that way. Straight back, I attack the ankle. If I rotate my body this way and then back, I break the ankle and I break the knee. Again, this is illegal in the sports sample tournaments that I have been in. Um, there's, six gener there's six federations of sambo, and in my federation, this is not allowed in sports sambo. Push down, rotate. And that's angle break number three.